Welcome to the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel right here on YouTube. And I'm out on my trap line this afternoon. Trapping season is over and I haven't had a chance to get out here and pull all my cages up off the line. So I'm out this afternoon to try to collect up a few of my cages, get those things cleaned up, stored away for next year. While I'm out this afternoon, of course, I've brought along everything I need to cook up a delicious meal here in the field. And of course, if I'm cooking up a new recipe, there's gonna be a new winner who's gonna be receiving some free Pathfinder outdoor cooking gear. So I'm super excited to announce a new winner. I'm excited to cook up a delicious meal. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get started on that right now. So I know you guys are always excited to hear the announcement of a new winner here on Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. And I'm always excited to announce a winner, someone who will be receiving a care package from Self Reliance Outfitters with all of the Pathfinder Outdoor Cooking Gear that I use right here on the show today to prepare this meal. And our winner is Jackson Pridgen. Congratulations, Jackson. And thank you for your submission of this very simple, hearty recipe for lentils and beef jerky. Now, this is a recipe that I'm somewhat familiar with. Many years back on my own channel, Black Hat Bushcraft, I did a video where I used lentils in conjunction with some little mini summer sausages, and it's a very nutritional and filling and satisfying meal to have in the woods. I'm a big fan of lentils because they're very nutritious. They provide you with a lot of natural protein, complex carbohydrates, all the stuff that you need as a woodsman when you're out here collecting firewood, building shelters, hiking over distance. Our body needs to be nourished and lentils is a great, easy to carry food to pack in your kit. I have in this pack two different types. I have red lentils and green lentils. And they cook up slightly different. These red ones tend to get a little bit more soupy and the green ones tend to hold their shape a little more. The nice thing about lentils is they're very small and so they cook up much faster than dry beans like pintos uh, or lima beans, that type of thing. Those things take a long time to cook where lentils can cook up in as little as 20 minutes, just depending. Today, I'm also gonna be adding in this recipe, according to Jackson's specifications, some beef jerky here. And this is one of my favorite brands, Iowa Smokehouse. This is some awesome quality beef jerky. And uh, I'm looking forward to adding that into the mix. So with all that said, let's get out our cooking gear and get started cooking. So the Pathfinder cooking gear that I'm using today is the full stainless steel canteen set, which I have in the Molly bag that this all came in. This bag works great for keeping the kit together. Inside I have my 40 ounce stainless steel canteen. And I also have with that the canteen cup. It's a 25 ounce stainless cup. And I have it nested with the canteen cup stove. And I've used this stove in another episode of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. And a canteen cup, I mean, what can you say? It's probably the most used of all camp cooking utensils. So famous for decades. I also have in the back pocket of this Molly bag, my little composite uh, Pathfinder cutting board. This comes in really handy. It's not a necessity, but it is a very nice convenience. It doesn't weigh hardly anything and it fits right down in the back pocket of this bag. So it just makes sense to carry that. We use that for cut cutting up the beef jerky today. And then I have with me my eating utensil, stainless steel Pathfinder spork. And the only other thing I brought along was the stainless steel bowl, which I love this thing. And I use this in the plate all the time. Comes in handy, just adding ingredients together or to eat out of. So that's all the gear that I'm gonna be using to cook up this meal today. And as you can see, I've already collected up one of my traps and I've never cooked on a trap before, but since I have this cage trap, it's gonna give me a nice level surface. So we'll cook lunch right here on a cage trap. Now, the heat source that I'll use to cook this meal today is gonna to really take me back to my childhood and some of my earliest days in the woods. The first ever camping or backpacking type stove that I ever owned was a folding sterno stove that I got from a military surplus store. I probably was 10 years old or younger. And 
I remember when I got my first ever can of Sterno canned heat or cooking fuel and I was so excited about that. I thought it was the coolest thing ever and I cooked so many meals on that Sterno stove. Every time I would go camping or even day hiking in the woods that stove would be along with me and I'd always cook up some canned food or something like that in my Boy Scout mess kit over top of this stuff. So obviously this can of Sterno is not a perfect match to the canteen cup stove. But I was fiddling around with the stove and just trying to come up with as many ideas as I could for how to cook with this thing. And when I saw this can of Sterno, I thought I'd just give it a try. And sure enough, these two actually mate together quite well and kind of spring fits into place with the stove. The stove rests right on the rim of the Sterno can here and it creates a nice solid level surface to cook over. It gives you about an inch, inch and a half of clearance between the flame and the burner here at the top of the stove. And I think this is gonna work out really good. So just another way that we can use this stove in conjunction with that Sterno. And by using Sterno, I'm going all old school cooking up my meal today, all retro. The recipe today calls for a quarter cup of red lentils, a quarter cup of green lentils, and one and a half cups of water, which would also be 12 ounces of water, which can convert to roughly 350 milliliters of water. It's hard to see, but inside this canteen cup, we have some measurement marks. And we have a 400 milliliter as our first mark, and then we have a 16 ounce mark. So from those marks, I can infer about where 350 milliliters or 12 uh, ounces would be and I'm gonna go ahead and add that water to the cup. So I'm just gonna eyeball that water. That looks about right. And what I'll do now is go ahead and add my lentils into my canteen cup so they can be soaking until I light the stove. That way these lentils can go ahead and start to swell up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and cover those, set them aside. And now we need to process the beef jerky. So I'll go ahead and open up my beef jerky here. We'll process some of that down. I'm not going to add a whole lot to it because it's just me, of course, eating out here today. And be honest with you, some of this stuff don't even need processing. This is some good beef jerky right here. Every pack that I've had from this brand has just been really good. That looks good to me. And as always, got to have a little sample. Just break this stuff up into some smaller pieces to help it cook up a little bit better. Expose some surface area. Help it rehydrate a little faster. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this beef jerky in with my lentils. And uh, one more sample. Hold me over until this is all done. And that's it for right now. I'm going to save the seasoning until this stuff cooks up. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to just set this stuff aside, get the stove lit, and then we'll be cooking. I'll just use my Swiss champ to get this open. And this stuff looks definitely a little bit weird. Seems like I remember it being pink. This stuff is all white looking, but as long as it burns, that's all I care about. It's definitely burning. So we'll go ahead and place this stove up there. We are officially cooking. Nice. getting hot. Cerno's doing the trick just like it always did. All right so the lentils have been on now for about 10 minutes and I've already got them boiling. This is cooking up really well. These things are already double the size of what they were. So 20 minutes on these things I think is plenty. Still got some water in the canteen cup so I'm just gonna let that stuff kind of keep soaking in. This is doing a fantastic job. That stuff is already simmering with a boil right now. So I'm pleased with this. 
By the way, do you have a favorite recipe you like to prepare when you're out in camp or out here in the woods? If so, go ahead and submit that recipe to our email address listed down below. And if we choose your recipe to be featured here on our show, we'll send you a care package with all of the Pathfinder outdoor cooking gear that I use to prepare your recipe. So go ahead and get that recipe sent over right now because you just might be our next winner. All right, so these lentils have been on about 25 minutes now. And as you can see, they got a rolling boil going. And I think they're good to go. These things are very soft. That beef jerky looks soft. Oh yeah, it's kind of stringing up. And if I keep cooking them, they're just gonna turn to soup. I know it's not the most appetizing looking thing in the world, but I'll be honest with you guys, it smells fantastic. That smoke with the beef jerky just really adds a lot of flavor. And those green lentils kind of have a peppery flavor anyway. So, this is gonna be a good hearty meal. Can't wait. Let's get them out and in our bowl, we'll add in some salt and pepper and we'll be good to go. All right, so I've given everything a moment to cool off and we have our lentils here. They're already starting to thicken up. So I'm just gonna serve myself up a bowl full of these. Make sure I get some of that delicious beef jerky in there. This really, this recipe is ideal for one person. This is like a great one person serving of this. I still got a little bit left in here. Just a tiny bit of burn on the bottom, but not bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of my black pepper. You gotta be careful with this little vial. It'll put a lot in there. And before I add the salt, I'm gonna give that a quick taste here. Mix that in. Mm. Doesn't need a lot of salt, honestly, from the jerky. That should be good. We'll mix that in. And now I have one more thing to add. So now that it's early March, we have this beautiful chickweed coming up out here in the woods. I love chickweed. It's got a good flavor to me and just add a little bit more nutrient to my meal. So just add a few little chickweed tops to that stuff. I did a video a while back on the Black Hat Bushcraft channel where I talked about the edibility and the medicinal benefits of chickweed. So you can check that out, but it makes a nice little wild addition to my lentils. And of course, as you guys know, it would not be Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen without an official meal reveal. There we go, red and green lentils stewed up with beef jerky, seasoned with salt, black pepper, and served with a side of chickweed from right here in our camp. This is gonna be a delicious rib sticking meal. I'm looking forward to it. Mm, it's a good camp eating right there. All right, so as always, I'm looking forward to this meal. But when I'm spending a nice afternoon in the woods eating good, I always got to take a moment to give thanks. All right, let's give these lentils the good old taste test. I got a good bite here with plenty of beef jerky. Mm. That's like some good home cooking right there. I love dry beans where there's lima beans, black eyed peas, pintos. I cook this stuff at home all the time. I put sausage in it, ham. And this tastes just like something that I would have slow cooked in a crock pot at home. That beef jerky is really soft, softened up really quick. Mmm. Little bite there with some chickweed in it. That stuff always tastes good to me. It's kind of like a celery taste. Almost tastes like uh, raw corn, sweet corn. Adds a nice touch to the dish. Mm. So this really is a very easy to pack shelf stable meal that gives you a lot of nourishment when you're going to be in camp. If you're going to be sitting somewhere for 30 to 45 minutes, this is an easy thing that you can cook up. And as you could see with that canteen cup stove, whether you're using twigs or an alcohol stove or using sterno like I did today, I just thought that would be a fun way to bring out something that brought back memories from my childhood using that sterno. And it actually worked really, really well. So of course, as always, I'm doing two things my mama told me not to. Talking with my mouth full, and I haven't offered you guys any. Some of you guys are gonna think that doesn't look good. 
but I'm telling you, that beef jerky, those delicious lentils, take a bite. Mmm. Stuff is really delicious. So my two favorite parts of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen are giving away free gear to our followers and supporters and eating hot food in the woods. Mm, always a joy. I know I've said it many times, but this just might be my favorite one yet. All right, so as you can see, I have cleaned my bowl. It was a delicious meal and uh, definitely a do-againer. I wish I had a second bowl I could share with you guys, but unfortunately, we can't do that on YouTube yet. However, I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to tune in for this video. Don't forget that if you have a favorite camp recipe, make sure to submit that recipe to the email address listed down below, and we'll get your name entered into our data bank of recipes that I pull from each time I come out to film a new episode of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. So on behalf of all of us here at Self-Reliance Outfitters, we thank you for your time, interest, and support. Make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, and definitely make sure you are a subscriber to the Self-Reliance Outfitters YouTube page. Until the next episode, you guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you soon.